Hi, this is Helmi from ASC and today we'll talk about 3D printed telescope accessories. It's been a while since I last posted a video and I think it's been several months since I actually posted one. One of the things that's kept me busy is I've been trying to learn a new CAD program so I can make some high quality 3D printed products for telescopes. And today I've got a whole uh, introductory range to show you and I hope you like what you see. I'd like to start with this one. This is my solar film holder. I really like this one. It's uh, got a retaining ring on the inside and it's held by three screws that screw into brass inserts. Uh, there are nylon screws that secure the filter onto your telescope. This will take 60 millimeter telescopes all the way to 90 millimeter telescopes. And uh, the screw holes are all brass inserts, so you don't need to worry about it wearing out. This is based on a design that I made initially, I think around six years ago. And since then I've learned a lot about CAD and 3D printing, and this has gotten much better. My original design was very messy, crude, but it worked. It's, I still use it till today. But this, this is something I'd be proud to put on my telescope. It's made from ASA plastic. ASA is UV resistant, uh, temperature resistant. On a hot day, you can leave it in your car. You're not too worried about it. I really like this one. It's something that I think would look nice on any telescope, would be very safe for your solar filter holding it securely in place. And if you do rip your solar filter, you can very easily replace it just by opening three screws. Next, I'd like to show you my solar finder. I'll insert a picture of this pointed at the sun. And this solar finder was actually the first product I worked on in the recent months. It's a very simple product. I actually published the files on uh, printables, so you can download them and print them yourself. I have a laser engraved uh, reticle over here. And the way I would use this is I'd put it into my finder bracket, find the sun manually the first time, and then mark it with a whiteboard marker, the location. That way you don't need to mess around with screws to align it every time to the sun, because you would be removing this for transportation. But once you mark it, if you put it back, it's close enough. Next time you know where to find the sun. You change it to a different telescope, you either put a different color marker or you erase the old one with a whiteboard cleaner. It's a smooth surface, very easy to clean off the whiteboard marker. So it's a very easy way to get repeatable results pointing at the sun. This one is actually a very simple product that I haven't seen much of in the market. It's basically a Vixen style dovetail bar and it is made to fit uh, on a DSLR. So I've got a quarter 20 thumb screw down here and you can tighten this on your DSLR. We've got non-slip pads. I had quite a bit of difficulty with this because I purchased many brands of non-slip pads and surprisingly many of them are very slippery for non-slip pads. I actually did eventually get it to work and this one is printed from carbon fill. It's a filament from Form Futura. It's PETG infused with the carbon fiber strands. It's really, really durable. I like it. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite filaments. It's got a very unique look to it. It looks very smart with the matte color you get from the carbon fiber, so it's a rough finish. I find it very appealing, the look of this material. It's not only about looks, however, carbon fiber gives you rigidity, so your DSLR is uh, not going to be flexing on you as you track the stars. And it does have good impact resistance because it is PATG. I do get some marring when I tighten down the screw. But then I went back to my aluminum dovetail and I tightened screws and I got the same level of marring on the aluminum. And I noticed where I tightened the screws, the anodizing would scratch off. So I don't see much benefit in uh, using an aluminum dovetail when you can save weight, especially if you think about the 
trackers like a sky guide or a sky hunter or I don't know what's the name of the equivalent from sky watcher they have very limited load capacity so every few grams you save make a big difference in the capability of the device along the same lines let's say you want to put a slightly bigger refractor on a mount with limited load capacity I've got this one which is a vixen style uh, dovetail mount with uh, two M6 uh, threaded holes in here and you've got slots to put other types of screws in there or M6 screws uh, through the directly to the threaded hole on your rings and this is actually a very tough dovetail I have put this through a lot of torture testing I've put it between two bricks stood on it for a while I have hammered it slammed it and I'm very impressed with the stiffness rigidity durability of this uh, dovetail it's extremely light I haven't weighed it but it, it weighs next to nothing compared to an aluminum dovetail so if you have a limited load capacity mount this gives you a good way to push the capability of the mount let's say put a slightly bigger refractor or a slightly heavier refractor maybe maybe to save you enough weight to add an autofocus system to your refractor so this is something which I'm very proud of and again it's printed with uh, carbon fill I really like this material it's something that uh, just looks beautiful I, I just love carbon fill I think it's one of the prettiest looking materials to print back to dovetails again now we've got a dovetail clamp over here this dovetail clamp is for securing small computers to your to your telescope so for example ASI Air the iOptron iMate I suspect it will be compatible with the upcoming device from TubeTech which should be released quite soon and they all use a standard hole pattern this is a visa mount and it's basically just a dovetail clamp with four screw holes it's very lightweight doesn't add much load to your mount it's ASA plastic UV resistant very durable and it's red because lots of people run the ASI air and I found this is the closest match I could get to the ASI air color it's got a nylon screw for the clamp mechanism I also designed something into this because I've had some clients with non-standard supposedly vixen style dovetail clamps so I had to make this much wider than the typical dovetail, clamp, uh, dovetail. And I found out that Vixen dovetails are not standard. They vary in size from 38 to up to 10 millimeters wider. That's a whole centimeter difference. So I've had to take that into consideration. Okay, this one is a new one which I've been working on. And this is my battery bank carry caddy. So it's a power bank caddy with the advent of power delivery we can now power telescopes via power banks and we don't need to carry big bulky batteries however many times we have them unsecure on the bottom of our uh, on the accessory tray of the telescope maybe sometimes we try, try and try it uh, tight up with uh, some cable ties or something and some janky solution and I've dropped a few power banks so I came up with this caddy and basically the curvature on the back fits a typical 2 inch tripod it should be fine on smaller tripods you put your power bank here you've got access to the side just in case your power bank has a switch on the side and you have uh, reusable cable ties you tie this around your tripod leg and your power bank is much neater more organized just looks much more slick and let's be honest a good looking telescope does make you feel better about your telescope so 
This is the power bank caddy. I am working on more accessories. I've been brainstorming for the past month or so, trying to figure out what makes sense in 3D printing. Not everything makes sense in 3D printing. I've got some uh, frivolous accessories, which might be fun. And I wonder if you guys tell me in the comments if you're interested, for example, in uh, a cup holder for your telescope. I mean, uh, it's cold and you've got your cup of coffee or tea or hot chocolate and a convenient place to put it on your tripod as you observe. I don't know, are you interested in such an accessory? Because not everything has to be serious. Sometimes we want to have some fun. And I mean, I like to have coffee while I observe, especially when it's uh, below freezing temperatures. So tell me what you think. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback about these ideas and products in, your, in the comments. For some of these designs, I give away the STL files for free on printables. And uh, for example, the solar finder, uh, the dovetail clamp, I think that I'm not sure. I think I published this one on uh, this one printables. Some of you have 3D printers, you're very adept at using them. You have access to some of the less common materials like carbon fiber, reinforced plastics, or the ASAs. Some of you don't want to print your own parts. Some of you would rather get somebody else print it for you, get the laser engraving done for you and assemble it and glue it together. Insert all the threaded inserts so you don't have to do it yourself. For those people, we do offer these products for sale on our website. But for those of you who just want to print your own, I also give away the designs for free. Thank you for watching.